Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the show. On today's episode, I am going to do a little bit of summertime catfish fishing from the bank. I'm out today at beautiful Lake Berryessa and I will be targeting exclusively channel catfish and whatever other species of catfish that will show up. Catfish fishing is synonymous with summer throughout many parts of America, particularly the landlocked states or middle America. Today for catfish fishing I will be using a lot heavier gear and I will be using salted anchovy. This anchovy has been cured so what I'm going to do is I'm going to peel it and butterfly it. What I'll do is I'll run my fingers through the middle, open up the gut pouch and I will peel the center bone out of the anchovy. The reason being for this is I want the bait to be as easily taken by the catfish as possible. With that being said, this is what it should look like. I particularly like circle hooks for catfish if I'm going to catch and release. I will be fishing it on a very small short stop fish finder rig. All it is consists of is a sinker, a bead, a no roll swivel to about a 10 inch a liter. To hook the bait, I like to run it through the front from the other side as I open it up and I will hook it through like a Texas rig. By doing so, I'm able to present this bait almost like a bait fish that have fallen to the bottom. Today I will be fishing it directly on the bottom due to the contour of the lake. Bottom feature of this area I'm fishing is a peat bottom, therefore I don't need to use a Sandy Cooper rig because I will be presenting the bait directly on the bottom. It is rather featureless with a few stumps here and there. Afterwards, I will also wrap it with Miracle Thread. This will ensure I'm able to get a long hard cast. I will wrap it about 10 to 12 times and the reason being is also to ensure that if a smaller fish were to peck at the bait, I won't lose the bait completely and I could keep it on the bottom longer. In the summertime, catfish will come in a variety of size. The gear I'm using today is the same gear that we use for river stripers. I want to use heavier gear because in the summertime, catfish can come in a wide variety of sizes. You can catch anything from a pant sized catfish to a giant catfish anywhere between 10, 15, to 20 pounds. Channel catfish is normally the species that is most present in many reservoirs here in Northern California. These channel catfish can range anywhere from your pan sized catfish of a pound to about 30 to 40 pounds. In the summertime, there will be a wide variety of fish actively feeding, and the last thing I want to do is be undergeared. The area I'm targeting today is a creek channel adjacent to a point. The reason I'm targeting this area in the summertime is because it acts as a funnel. As the catfish move throughout the daytime to feed, they will use the old creek channel and move up and down this point. Particularly for catfish fishing in reservoirs, their feeding habit is not like their river cousins. A river catfish is dependent on current whereas a reservoir catfish will find current in the features located in the lake. About 20 minutes in, I got bit. The bites in the summertime will tend to move erratically. With a circle hook, you don't need to set the hook. All I did was just pick it up and reel in the slack. And this catfish is hooked. Contrary to popular beliefs, catfish will feed during the daylight period. There's a myth going out there saying that many catfish will not feed during daylight period. That is actually a lie. Many catfish, from my experience, will feed during daylight hours if given that you are on an area where they are present and holding with bait fish. There is no difference between day or night fishing in the summertime from my experience. This is actually a very nice channel catfish, probably about 3 to 4 pounds. This is the typical size around the reservoirs in my area for the summertime. As you can see, this fish is very yellow because it is living on a very peat, muddy bottom. A channel catfish can be easily identified by its very forked tail and its slim, slender body, almost like it's built for the river system because they are. This is actually a very decent channel catfish, so off you go, buddy. One big problem I get during the summertime in channel catfish fishing during the daytime is particularly bites from smaller catfish. As you can see, the smaller catfish has self-hooked. All I have to do now is just pick up the rod and reel. Throughout Middle America and the Deep South, catfish fishing is extremely popular. Although on the West Coast they aren't as popular, I do enjoy targeting catfish, particularly in the summertime. 
Because the wide availability of this fish in many of our lakes, ponds, and river system, this fish is actually very underrated. They fight really hard and they actually taste really good, particularly deep fried. In many parts of the Midwest, this size channel catfish will be called a whole fryer. Particularly in Missouri, you will find many catfish this size served in diners, whole fried, head removed, and dressed. I'm not retaining any fish today, so you are lucky little guy. Off you go. This catfish has actually taken the bait and have began swimming towards me. Now I will pick up the rod and just reel it in tight. This fish is actually a very good summer catfish. Normally I know when I'm into a really good catfish based on how it dogs. The catfish will roll like crazy, hence why I use a no roll swivel, often to avoid line twist. Using a regular barrel swivel will cause a large amount of line twist and when fighting these fish. I find that the larger the catfish, the more crocodile death rolls they'll perform. This crocodile death rolls is really detrimental to many line. By using a heavy no roll swivel, particularly the kinds that are used for sturgeon fishing, you can avoid the line twist and help preserve the line integrity. These fish fight really hard during the warmer weather months. Due to the warm weather, the metabolism of these fish is at full swing. They will feed a lot more and they will fight a lot harder. In regards to reservoir, there are three kinds of reservoir that will typically hold channel catfish in Northern California or California in general. I find that my favorite kind of reservoir to fish for channel catfish are your lowland reservoir and under 4,000 feet of elevation. Anything more than that and I find that many catfish species will eat the meager living. Now this is the summer catfish I've been looking for. This fish is probably well above 10 pounds, maybe even pushing 15. When carp and catfish fishing, I will always bring a landing mat. I don't like leaving the fish to thrust around on the rocks as it will particularly injure itself. This is actually a very nice summer catfish. With these bigger fishes, it's best to let them rest a bit before letting them go. Wait until they are strong enough to swim, then slowly let it go. Thanks for playing buddy, off you go. Wind plays a very large role in letting catfish feed in the shallow. I find that with wind, I can often get more bites than a slack calm day. This fish actually picked up the bait on the right hand rod in very shallow water. One key aspect I will mention today is the depth of the water that I am picking these fish up from. I find that catfish in the summertime will vary in depth. I find that the shallower the water, the smaller the catfish tend to be. Not to mean that there won't be a big catfish present, but I find that your smaller pant sized catfish will be shallow, and your bigger catfish will tend to range anywhere depending on the reservoir in 10 to 15 feet of water. I believe this is actually particularly with the bait fish feeding pattern. The deeper the water, the less bait fish there tend to be, so these fish will be forced to move onto these flats with points to feed on bait fish. This is another pan sized channel catfish. I am not harvesting any fish today, I am letting all these fish go. Particularly when I'm harvesting fish, this is the typical size I would take home. This is a gorgeous little pan sized channel catfish. You are very lucky today buddy. Thanks for playing. Off you go. As I was baiting the other rod, the rod on the right hand side got bit. This channel catfish was a bit on the smaller side, but somehow he still managed to hook himself. This is the beauty of using the circle hooks. Often time when a fish bites the bait, they often self-hook. Unlike an octopus hook, I find that by using circle hooks, I'm able to leave the rod unattended for longer periods of time. If a fish does pick up the bait, the fish will often self-hook, whereas with an octopus hook, I will have to pay attention to the rod and run to it to set the fish as soon as I see a bite is on. These little guys are so voracious. Thank god I'm not in Missouri or else this guy would have been pan fried. Alright little guy, off you go. A catfish has picked up the bait on the left hand rod. I am trying to reel up the slack to catch up to him so I could quickly get the hook set on him. 
the, with the circle hook, particularly with slack line, if the fish swims toward you, it's best to recover the line and then pick up the rod and reel it in tight. This fish is actually fighting pretty hard. But yet, I find that this might not be a channel catfish. Typically, if the fish rolls left and right, I find that these will be white catfish, or better yet known as the white bullhead. They are very similar to a channel catfish, but they are actually not a channel catfish. They are part of the bullhead family. The white bullhead, or the white catfish as they are called, will feed in many areas where channel catfish are present. I find that their biggest presence will be either in river system or in northern and in many lakes. These fish tend to do poorly in heavily vegetated area and will often go toward area where the bottom is either peat or silty. This is actually a very chunky nice white bullhead or white catfish as they are called. While trying to set up the camera to get video images of the white bullhead, the other rod got bit. This channel catfish is actually a very nice pan size. I can tell from the fight that this is a channel catfish rather than a white bullhead due to it rolling. Particularly I find that white bullhead or white catfish do not roll and they will either move side to side whereas a channel catfish will roll a lot when hooked. Hopefully today's episode give you guys the courage and ambition to give catfish fishing a try. I've been trying to do this video for a while now, but finally I got around to it. As you can see, there's nothing special, I'm fishing it right off the bank. And there's plenty of fish to be caught, even though it's in the middle of the day. Now I could throw this guy in the net and on the mat so I could get the camera gear ready. This is a small but very nice little pan sized channel catfish. I'll let him go quickly and I'll show you guys the white catfish. This is the white catfish. You can tell it's a white catfish because its fins aren't as rounded and it's got this giant head. The mouth will extend to the eyeballs. Alright buddy, thanks for playing. Off you go. While trying to fix the GoPro setting, the rods are getting bit. I know I have a catfish on the left hand rod again and I think it might be swimming towards me. I'm going to pick up the rod and reel up the slack. Then all I have to do is reel up the slack and tighten up the line. As soon as it tightens, all I have to do is lift the rod and I have the fish hooked on. The wind is starting to pick up now, but despite the wind, these fish continue feeding. As you can see, these fish will continue biting throughout the day. The whole night fishing thing is actually a myth. Night fishing is productive, you just want to avoid the heat of the day and the boaters during the summertime. This is actually a very nice channel catfish. The crocodile rolls this one is performing tells me that he's actually a very nice fish. Oftentimes, I find that only the bigger catfish will roll like this. The smaller catfish will roll, but they will only roll to a certain extent where you can easily lift the rod up. These larger fish will dog all the way to the bank. Another question I get asked a lot is why do I fish the rod straight up at a 180 degree angle? The reason being for this is because I want to keep as much line off the water as I can. If you've ever noticed when there is flow in a river or lake, particularly from wind or other water recreational user, the lower the rod is to the water, the more the line and the bait gets displaced by the wakes. What I want to do is to keep the bait in the same place as long as I can to draw the catfish to the area. While letting the catfish rest in the net, the other rod got bit. This fish hooked himself on the circle hook. He's not getting away and I need to quickly get him or else he might end up really swallowing the hook. This isn't a bad fish, it's probably another little pan sized channel catfish. Overall it was a great day. Even though the wind is blowing and there are a lot of water recreational users out in the summertime, I find that I can still grab quite a few bites during the daytime. Now, if I really want to avoid all of that, I will fish the nighttime. That will probably be for another episode.
but hopefully today help you guys or the small group of you guys who really want to try and target these fish. They are plentiful and very readily available in many of our lowland reservoir. A lowland reservoir would be my preferred place to start. Now, this is actually a very nice little pan sized catfish. I'll let him go quickly so I can show you the larger fish. This is actually a very nice channel catfish. The day is ending and I need to pack up and start walking back. This is a gorgeous, very healthy channel catfish. He is fat from feeding on the bait fish in the shallows. Thanks for playing, dude. Rest up a bit and off you go. Overall, it was a great day on the water. I caught plenty of fish for the camera and hopefully this helps those of you guys who want to try and target catfish. You don't need to target them at night. That is a myth. I've caught plenty of catfish during the daytime. Thank you guys so much for watching and until next time. Tight lines y'all.